So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 7th React Native tutorial in which you can take a look at what state is in React Native and how to work with it. So let's get started with state in React Native. Alright, so if we take a look inside the code, you would see that actually I have the app already running on my real device. So um, if you do not know how to set this up, then go ahead and watch previous videos. The links would be in the description and you would know how to exactly reach this point. Now you could use an emulator as well. I'm just using my real device here. So it does not really matter. Okay, so what um, we learned about props in the last video was that properties are basically these things which are associated with your components and which could be passed down into something known as your child components which we would come to later on right but what state means every component has a particular state right so um, what that means is that if you change the state of your component and by state I mean a particular object in that component React would smartly um, check what stuff was changed in that particular state and which stuff your component needs to be updated of. Okay, so um, let's just break this into um, code example, right? So first of all, let me just get rid of all of this stuff which is not really required and clean it up a little bit so that it's easier for you to see, right? So um, we can just keep. Um, style sheet I guess get rid of this then text we can just get rid of the image as well here for now and there we are all right so now what I need to do is just create a constructor here constructor and uh, I believe you know what this constructor is it's just es6 right now what I'm gonna do is say this dot state is a blank object right so this state is actually a very special um, kind of object it's not just a regular object right now it's monitored by react in the background and whenever I call let's just say um, this dot set state right if there's something appreciable to be changed then this render method would be called again right so if I use my state variable somewhere in the inside the render method and the set state is called which changes my state variable then what happens is that this component is re-rendered after um, detecting what particular things are changed right so let's just see a quick example of that so what I'm gonna do here is um, let's just say uh, okay what I'm gonna do is basically let's just say I'm gonna get rid of this style.welcome or basically what we can do is just include this as an array and I can say that this is like custom styles something like this dot custom styles right so what happens now or instead of like um, this dot state dot custom styles right so what's what what I'm doing here is that applying styles dot welcome which is this block of styles to my text component right now and this thing as well which I'm gonna develop which I'm gonna write here really soon so um, don't worry about what style does is this is just an example to show what state does right now so I'm gonna say this dot state dot custom styles let's just say this is a custom style and if you follow along we could see that we can set an opacity of let's just say zero right and what I can do is uh, let's just say I can create a set interval here and I can say something like every one second what I want to do is do something like this dot set state and I'm gonna say my custom styles is actually consisting of opacity of one right so what that means is that every second I'm changing something in my main state of the component right so the react react application should technically re-render my component with the updated styles right okay so let's just go to device and if I just shake my device here and um, hit on reload here 
you would see that the development server returned okay let's just try to reload it let's just try to run the bundle again let's see what's happening here so it says me this is not allowed before super okay cool so we can just call super here and we should be good to go I believe let's just go back to the terminal and see if it's building or not alright so you can see that we have 100% of the build and now if I just um, take a look one more time just shake my device here hit reload um, you would see that it does not blink because um, because opacity is not really the style which you can apply on a text field right so let's just change this from color from opacity to color and let's just say I just want to make this color of um, let's just say green and let's just say um, I just give it a default color of blue here so it will start with blue and it will just toggle between red green red green red green and so on and so forth let's just try one more time here I go shake it reload it starts with red green then it's always green okay because um, yeah obviously because you're not turning it back to red right so we can just say here that if this dot state dot custom styles dot color is red then turn it to green otherwise turn it to red just like that one more time let's just shake our device and reload and you can see how fast these builds are because you're not really um, building the whole application itself that's what react native does behind the scene for you so now you can see that we have red green red green toggling colors with us and uh, basically that is possible because of the state so you see that do, we do not have any sort of logic which updates which re-renders this um, component when the state changes right so react does it automatically on its end so that's basically how state works and uh, mostly in bigger application what we that is something known as Redux but it's way too early for um, things like Redux to be discussed but right now states would be good for us to go and basically would help us to manage um, the state the actual state of the component how the component remembers stuff so yeah that's all for this video and I'll see you then in the next one